Okay, action. When you get the preheater into position, you'll want to take the strap off the opposite side, as Ed is doing right now. Come around and lift up the top and make sure that it's locked over on the right hand side where Ed is pulling that straight up. And then you're going to want to take the hose out, remove one cowl plug, and note in this case the propeller is arranged such that it will hold the hose in place and Ed is placing in the cowl plug to assist in holding the, the hose in place. Then you're going to come and you're going to turn on the gas valve on top of the propane tank. And you're going to turn on the fan, that is the red switch, and you will hear the fan come on. At this point, you will press down the red button to see how much pressure on the gauge you have, you should have between 10 and 20 pounds of pressure. And you adjust that with the red knob on the bottom where Ed has his right hand. Then you strike the piezoelectric to start up the gas. You will hear the gas running. You hold that gas valve down for between 15 and 20 seconds. That allows a, a thermal couple to heat up, creating electri uh, electricity and electromagnetic valve to stay open. You can release the button and you preheat the plane for between 20 and 30 minutes, depending on how cold it is. Make sure I'm ready. Tell me when you're ready. Okay, go ahead. When you arrive at the plane to do your preheat, you should see that the solar panels are facing to the southwest as they here, as they are here. And we should we should also note that we have uh, jumper cables in here. If the battery is not charging up, you can hook it up to your car. Red on positive, black on positive. And we have a tire pump in here. If the tires are low. Cut. I'm just gonna get. It's a take. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. To the party. To the after filming party. <laughs> That's what I had to do with my wife's car to bring it here. 